everyone it is jazz here so before we start anything in this video i'm just like gonna say i'm so sorry that yet again after just coming back i disappeared for a really really long time unforeseen circumstances happened first i'm just an unmitigated hot mess just right now just that's just what it is but also my mom is fine now but she had a little bit of a health scare and so i was you know kind of dealing with that so yeah things did not go as planned with my return but things have settled down again and i am working on making some changes so that by like late may i should be able to have a more consistent video schedule so just bear with me as I go on my life journey. So I really wanted to make a video and I saw a really cool tag going around and it's called the quarter year crisis book tag. It's basically about updating people on what you've read so far and what you plan to read at this quarter section of the year. I thought it was really cool and I've actually been wanting to kind of do this type of video anyway, but this just kind of helps guide me with some questions. I have linked the original creator of the tag below and let's just jump in to the questions. I don't know why I had to sing that. It's It was just fun to do. <laughs> One, how many books have you read so far? This may not sound like a lot by booktube standards, but I have read 11 books. That's actually pretty decent considering I'm a slow reader and I think if I continue doing what I'm doing and read some short books, I should still be able to meet my goal of 50 books. Have you already found a book that you think might be a 2022 favorite? If not, what is your favorite book you read that isn't or wasn't quite a five star. I don't know. I really don't evaluate what's going to be like my 2022 favorite until like the whole book season is done. The book season. <laughs> the year. <laughs> That's the book season. So <laughs> I'm just going to tell you what the four five star books that I have so far are. First five star book is The Drawing of the Three, which is the second book in Stephen King's Dark Tower series. And then another Stephen King related book that I also gave five stars was Gwendy's Button Box, which is a novella by both Stephen King and Richard Chismer. And then I completed The Curious Incident of The Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon. And this was a lovely, awesome read. As well as the third book in the Memory, Sorrow, and Thorn series, Two Green Angel Tower. <laughs> really glad that this one received five stars because it's quite a chunker. And it's also the reason why I've only read 11 books so far this year because it's the size of like three books. Any one star book slash least favorite book of the year? <laughs> Hands down my least favorite book read so far is Passable in Pink by Mike Sachs. And honestly, I'm not mad that I picked it up. It worked for one of my reading challenges for one of my story graph reading challenges. It also, um, was free with my Audible subscription. It was in the included section, so I didn't waste a credit or any money on it. But, you know, I wasted my time. So Passable in Pink is a 80s teen movie satire. But the thing is, when I went into it, I didn't know it was going to be satire. I knew it was going to be 80s influenced, but I didn't anywhere see that it was like a satire. So I'm not really a fan of satire in books for the most part. There are some that I do like. So if I'd known that, I probably would have picked the book up in the first place. That wasn't, however, the reason why I didn't enjoy Passable in Pink. The reason I didn't enjoy it is because the plot was not great for me. And then on top of that, the humor was really forced, really badly executed. And sometimes I got what the author was trying to do, but I just didn't like what they were trying to do. And on top of that, I really did not enjoy the characters at all. They were a bad amalgam of John Hughes characters. Like you would think that merging John Hughes characters into one character 
would be really cool, and I think it could have been, but this book didn't know how to do that. It's, for the most part, if you couldn't tell by the title, a parody of Pretty in Pink, which is one of the few 80s teen movies that I don't love because Molly Ringwald's character deserves so much better and I only ever watch it for Ducky. I'm not the only one that didn't enjoy this book. Uh, it has very low ratings on Goodreads and Storygraph, so I'm not alone. Most read genre so far. So it appears that my most read genre is fantasy. I read a lot of Stephen King. I read some uh, Tad Williams, so I think that's like the accurate judgment of my genres. A Books that surprised you is the next one. I've decided to go with The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison. And the reason I say that it surprised me is because Toni Morrison is sort of known for writing books that are low-key triggering, sometimes high-key triggering. And this is the first one of hers that I've completed. And while I would say that this is definitely a triggering book, I wasn't in like um, emotional agony as much as I thought that I would be like I was able to at least enjoy the writing style so even though this is a very dark sad book I didn't find it anxiety inducing and that surprised me <laughs> next we have the book that's come out in 2022 already that you want to read but haven't yet I think the only book that I know that might have come out recently I think it came out was Gwendy's Final Task, which is the third book in the Gwendy's Button Box kind of series. Um, I'm reading these books for the Dark Tower Readathon, which is a, it is a year long readathon that's going on. And since they're kind of connected to those books, that's what I'm reading. So I've read the first two books on the like readathon schedule. It's not till like later on, um, I think because for the first time, readers of the entirety of the Dark Tower books, they don't wanna like spoil some stuff for you in the main series is what I'm guessing. Um, so <laughs> I'm eventually gonna get to Gwendy's final task. One goal you made that you're succeeding at. So I'm doing pretty good on my 2022 to be read list. I put 12 books on that list. I've read five of those books and the goal is to get to six of those books before the mid year. So I think I'm doing pretty excellently on that one. One goal that you need to focus on. So speaking of Stephen King's Dark Tower series, the goal is to finish that before the end of the year and the other books that are part of the readathon centered around it. <laughs> However, I am two books and a half behind on like the reading schedule, so I definitely need to catch up on that. Then we have the last question. New to you booktubers, bookstagrammers, book talkers for 2022 that you recommend. I actually need help. I'm the one that needs recommendations because I'm actually kind of trying to find new books, social media people. I don't have TikTok, so maybe not book talkers, but if you wanna recommend me some new to you ones below. I've been watching a lot of booktube through actually YouTube suggestions, but not really following through on like watching people's full content. So maybe you can like narrow it down for me and help me find some new booktubers to watch. So that is it for the video, my friends. I hope you guys enjoyed this little update video and I hope that you will drop me a comment below with any thoughts or also, like I said, those recommendations so that we can check out some stuff together. And that is it, my fabulous friends. I will see you all later. Bye.